Good morning, Lauren. We're starting out with just a few clouds, not looking at any rain chances, though, and we've got warm temperatures. Just for the record, temperatures normally should be <coughs> excuse me, in about the 20s at this time of year. It's 50 degrees right now in Springfield on a south and east wind at 11 miles per hour. It's 50 in Branson, 53 in Ava, 52 in Mountain Grove, 53 in West Plains. We've got winds at about 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the south. But if you look just up to our north, we've got winds out of the north and northwest. That's where our cold front is sitting, and that will push through the Ozarks through the day today. As you're heading out the door, temperatures are in the 50s, but you're not going to need a jacket because look at this. Temperatures in the 60s by this afternoon. Another mild day, well above average day. Our average for this time of year is about 43 degrees and quiet. We'll just have a couple of clouds today. I think everybody will be able to make it into the 60s. Overnight tonight, clouds will push to the south. We'll have temperatures closer to 50 near the state line. Here in Springfield, I think we'll hit about 40 tonight, and then in the 30s, north and east of the, or excuse me, north and west of the interstate. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Temperatures Temperatures again mild in the 50s, but just a little bit cooler than today. If you're wanting to go out and walk the dog, I think you've got the green light to do it. We'll have again mostly cloudy skies, but warm. Temperatures will be in the 60s, and then we'll stay mild and well above average for tomorrow and for Saturday. That's when those shower chances really start to enter the forecast. Then we're in the 40s, and we're looking at a cold New Year's Eve. The holidays can be tough and lonely for young adults who have transitioned out of foster care. That's why one local group went out of its way to help people celebrate. It was all part of Foster Adopt Connect's Youth Connection Project. The project itself helps young adults find housing, a job, and develop skills. Yesterday, though, they celebrated with a free meal and a free shopping trip at Sammy's Window Clothing Store. 26-year-old Jonathan Rutland says he's thankful for days like yesterday, but adds that he appreciates it year-round to be able to take things home every month. So, so much. I mean, I, I can't begin to tell you. I haven't even sat down and calculated, <laughs> honestly, how much money I've saved. Just being able to utilize Sammy's window and get stuff that I would normally be spending $20, $30 on at Walmart and not have to worry about having to pay that money. So. Now, aside from saving money, Rutland says it was nice having company on Christmas. Although he has a foster family in Joplin, he lives in Springfield by himself. Also around the Ozarks, a man is in the hospital after being shot in the head yesterday. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office found the man in the 24,000 block of Rolling Hills Road in Richland, Missouri. We don't know his condition, but the man was taken to a trauma center by helicopter. Officials have a person of interest in custody, and charges are expected to be filed. It's an ongoing investigation, but officials believe it was isolated and there was no threat to the community. A 39-year-old man from Marshfield is in serious condition after a crash on I-44 late last night. The crash happening near mile marker 136 in the Cleve County shut down the interstate in both directions for a short time. The crash report says that the man was driving east in the westbound lanes when he hit a vehicle head-on. Four people in the second vehicle suffered minor to moderate injuries. The Hazel Green Fire Protection District also posted on Facebook saying entrapment and fire were part of this crash. In some more local news, beginning today, Springfield area residents can drop off their used Christmas trees near the Bass Pro Shops outlet store. The trees will help provide habitats for wildlife and upland game. You can drop them off in the parking lot just south of the outlet store anytime from noon to 6 p.m. You have through December 30th to get this done. Moving on to a traffic alert now. A portion of Route AM in Texas and Wright counties will be reduced to one lane beginning today, and that goes into next week. The reduction from east of Wall Street in Wright County to west of Hidden Valley Road in Texas County will happen from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day through December 31st. Crews will be replacing culvert pipes during this time. On to a story that is positively Ozarks. An Arkansas fire chief donated a kidney to an 18-year-old right here in southwest Missouri. Gerald Ezel is the fire chief in Maumel, Arkansas. He gave his, one of his kidneys to 18-year-old Sidney Burnett of Granby, Missouri, on December 13th, just two days before he met her. Ezel says he learned about Burnett's need when he saw a Facebook post from her mom, who was an old school friend of his. 
Ezel says he realized they had the same blood type and he felt God was telling him to, quote, step across that line. Sweet story for you yeah. as you wake up. We also need to let you know what's trending on Google right now. The first is a recall for hard boiled eggs, which has worsened for fear of listeria contamination. Oh. One person has died, four people have been hospitalized, and this is from the brand or the uh, manufacturer Allmark Foods. And these products were produced in Gainesville, Georgia. So just keep an eye out for that. The uh, recall has expanded to products that are sold at Trader Joe's. Of course, we don't have one of those here, but if you're traveling or have family, let them know. I wish we did. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Love Trader Maybe Jones. one day. All right, Beth, you want to do the honors for yes, us? Yes, that's part of Thursdays. Who we got? Tracy Danielson, who says her favorite movie genre is romance or action thriller. Okay. And she loves to watch Daybreak with her family. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations yes. to Tracy. Hopefully, you were able to enjoy, enjoy some movies, maybe have a few days off. Today, you might want to spend outside, though. I was going to say, you don't need a movie today. Save that for next week when temperatures are back in the 40s. Today, we're in the 60s. Tomorrow, yes, we're in the 50s, but I mean, that's still very warm for this time of year. Again, in the 60s on Saturday and some showers, so maybe a movie on Saturday. All right, and we'll be keeping our eye on that New Year's Eve forecast for you. Here's a live look outside Springfield as the sun is rising. Hope you all have a great day after Christmas.